this has been a year filled up with so much excitement and classic games. And now we finally made it. The OHSAA State Championship Games. Seven games, three nights, Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. Sure, my Highland Hornets aren't in it, but does it really get any better than this? The greatest game in the state championship? I never thought I'd live to see the day. Let's see who our victim shall be. The Archbishop Hoban Knights, a team that has been here many times before. From 2015 to 2020, they won all the D2 state championships except for 2019. One of the best high school football programs in the past decade, looking to keep their dynasty alive. However, they lost in the last two years at the state title game to Winter Woods and TCC. Who will they be paired up with tonight? It'll be... The Massillon and Washington Tigers. Or as people have called them, the Paper Tigers. Like Hoban, they've been here on so many occasions. This will be their seventh state title game they've ever played in. Arguably the most well-known high school football team in the country. Producing NFL star after NFL star. Legendary head coaches. Having one of the most iconic high school football stadiums in the country. And 24 state championships. There's just one issue. They haven't won since 1970. They haven't won since the playoffs were implemented in 1972. They've played Hoban a lot over the past few years and have lost every single one of them including the 2020 state championship to COVID. But this is different. This is the year that they think they can finally do it. And why not? This has to be the biggest game in the history of OHSA football. Two historic programs. One that's currently a dynasty and the other trying to reclaim the past glory. 15,000 fans here. Hoban goes on offense first. And they don't do a bad job. They got a first down right here at the 27-yard line and continue to march inside the red zone. It looks as if we're going to have a high-scoring ball game at the very least. Or will we? That football's on the ground. Maslin says it's theirs. Flags fly. Football came out. Hoban throw half the first quarter marched inside the red zone and got nothing. Well... At least Massillon and Washington's making an effort. They're getting inside the 40-yard line right there. Receivers. They have a chance to get something Owens. on first down. Going to take a shot for the end zone. It was on the hands of his talented receiver. The first quarter ends with zero points for each school. And then it's time for punting time. First Hoban gets the punt. And then Washington punts. And now I Hoban gets know, the Reg, punt again. At least 14,000 people? I'd say so. Easy. I feel like Red does. An NFL Hall of Fame game. Drop the snap. Hoban's going to put the football away. And it was blocked. Massillon came up with that block. And that was Don't show your hopes up, Massillon. It's still a scoreless ball game. And whoa, a flag on fourth down and ten. What were they doing on that? Surely this is going to bite them in the tail. Eight up near the line of scrimmage. It doesn't matter. Oh Touchdown. my God. Points Ryland were finally scored. Lewis. It Lennox took us a quarter and a half. The but finally Lennox. someone got a touchdown. Sure, everybody's punting after this. But surely this is going to be the start of something big. And then Hoban gets a good punt right there that pins Massillon and Washington to the one-yard line. How will they respond? Oh my goodness, a safety! A safety! That never happens! And it finally happened here at the, the state championship! How will Hoban do it? Boykin pulled that football down. Oh no, he threw it and got picked off! That's intercepted by Vito McConnell. And so we finally hit halftime. And now it's time for the second half. Dear God, let there be points scored out here. 7-2 to two surely can't be the final score. Here comes Massillon Washington with a good opportunity. And everybody has a case of the dropsies. Of course everyone drops that play. Now it's Hoban's turn. First down right there. Not bad. 
I mean, sure, they're burning timeouts now, but this can't hurt them now. There's still plenty of football left to be played. Then, Hoban's drive gets promising. They march inside Massillon, Washington territory. It looks as if everything's going to be great for them. And then the dreaded flags. Penalty after penalty. False start after false start. And now the Knights, after what looked to be a good drive, punt the football for sad time. We now advance to the fourth quarter. What will happen here? A flag busting their fourth and Donovan one opportunity. Now it's Washington's Hoban's turn. Get the ball back. Fake. They snap that to the interior. Why on Coming earth would you fake it on fourth and three at your own 40-some yard line? Fake sure, your defense is doing fantastic. But one little mistake by them, and the game ends. Your offense is going nowhere. I don't care if Hoban's out of timeouts now. You cannot let them do this. Case in point, Hoban is killing as much clock as possible, getting down the field for a first down on fourth down and one. And now it's, uh-oh, he fumbled the ball. How do you fumble it? Now Washington's in prime position to win it. Don't louse this up, Knights. They're looking at a fourth and eight. Got to get to the 10 yard line. Owens going to throw end zone. It is not. Oh my held God, Massillon and Washington complete. actually did it. it for the like first time in over half a Jackson century. The Massillon and Washington Tigers are state yes. champions. Yes. I never thought this day would ever come, but come it did. And now. The entire city of Massillon rejoices. They have never witnessed this in most of these people's lifetimes. They never thought this day could ever happen. But now they are here and on top Division 2. All they do is kneel down the ball and Massillon has finally won the state championship. The one Owens has come a long way from his days at Copley. He is finally a state championship. But most importantly, these two schools battled between a game nobody would ever forget. It will forever go down as the greatest game.